decent day for us on tap, Damon Singleton. Pretty decent day. You know, the skies are looking pretty nice this morning, especially on the North Shore. Take a look at this shot through our North Oaks Medical Center camera. Uh, a great start to the day. A little cool outside in some parts, especially in some parts of the, of the North Shore this morning. Uh, a little bit of fog in some places down here on the South Shore, but otherwise uh, a great start. Uh, here's what I'm expecting. Partly cloudy and mild conditions will be with us today. At slight uh, severe weather risk is tomorrow and better <clears throat> tomorrow and on Thursday, actually, and better weather is going to be here on Friday. That slight risk of severe weather includes all Louisiana, central and southern Mississippi stretches all the way up the Mississippi Valley includes the possibility for damaging winds, a few tornadoes, Lord, large hail and frequent lightning is a possibility. In, in fact, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of lightning strikes are expected over the next couple of days. So I uh, get ready for that. Besides the lightning strikes and that slight risk of severe weather, a lot of rainfall is on the way and I'll show you that in just a second. It's a one two punch coming from the warm front that will be passing through our area tomorrow. The cold front that's back to the west that will be passing through uh, southeast Louisiana. Looks like Wednesday night into uh, Thursday. Uh, right now we've got some showers and storms just off of Plaquemines Parish here and a lot of rainfall out in the Gulf of Mexico that's all headed towards Florida. So if you're headed in that direction, you definitely want to bring the umbrella with you. Here's what we're expecting in terms of rainfall amounts between uh, looks like Wednesday morning and about uh, 11 p.m. on Wednesday evening. That light blue indicating the possibility for a half an inch to an inch and a half of rainfall across parts of the North Shore and parts of Southwest Mississippi as well. Into your Thursday, that number jumps up quite a bit. The yellow indicates the possibility of over four inches of rainfall across parts of the North Shore down here onto the South Shore as well. So overall, one to three inches of rainfall is expected and we can see much larger isolated amounts over the next couple of days. So be ready for a lot of rainfall. We may see some reaction to river levels as a result of all the rain as well. Right now at the air Airport 66 degrees, cloudy skies, 87% humidity out there. The winds out of the northeast at 12 miles per hour. And your hour by hour forecast showing you that by noontime today, looks like our temperatures in the upper 60s to the low 70s. Your highs this afternoon for most of us will be in the mid 70s and partly cloudy and warm, if not mild conditions uh, for the most part. Tonight, if you're going to Baton Rouge for the uh, Green Wave game versus the Tigers, 71 degrees, some partly cloudy skies, a slight chance of rainfall there. And for the uh, Jackson State game versus UNO, Looking pretty good tonight over at Maystree Field, and it's looking uh, not so good for Wednesday at the square with that 40, maybe as high as a 50% chance of rain. Here's a quick look at your seven day forecast, showing you the rainfall that I'm expecting over the next couple of days. The much better weather on Friday, and a sunny and cooler weekend in store.